Test 3. Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English Pre-A1 Starters Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of me and my friends in my grandpa's garden, Mr Brown. That's great. Who's that? The girl under the tree. Her name's Grace. What's she reading? A story about polar bears. Grace loves animals. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the boy next to the water? That's Ben. He's counting the fish. Oh, that's funny. I know. Ben counts lots of things. Two. And that's Lucy. She's got some paper and crayons. Is she drawing the flowers? Yes. Lucy loves them. So do I. They're beautiful. Three. And what's that girl's name? The girl on the skateboard? That's Eva. I sit next to her at school. Is that her skateboard? No, it's her brother's. But Eva plays with it a lot. Four. That boy's got a nice tennis racket. That's Tom. Does Tom play a lot of tennis? Yes, he plays with his friends. Five. And look there. That's my friend Pat. He's sleeping. Does he sleep in the garden a lot? Yes, he likes it. It's his favourite thing. That's good. You've got some nice friends. Yes, I have. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's the boy next to the water? That's Ben. He's counting the fish. Oh, that's funny. I know. Ben counts lots of things. Two. And that's Lucy. She's got some paper and crayons. Is she drawing the flowers? Yes. Lucy loves them. So do I. They're beautiful. Three. And what's that girl's name? The girl on the skateboard? That's Eva. I sit next to her at school. Is that her skateboard? No, it's her brother's. But Eva plays with it a lot. Four. That boy's got a nice tennis racket. That's Tom. Does Tom play a lot of tennis? Yes, he plays with his friends. Five. And look there. That's my friend Pat. He's sleeping. Does he sleep in the garden a lot? Yes, he likes it. It's his favourite thing. That's good. You've got some nice friends. Yes, I have. That is the end of part one.
Part two. Look at the picture. Listen, and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello, I'd like to play basketball here, please. Very good. What's your name, please? Hugo. Is that H U G O? That's right, Hugo. How old are you? I'm nine. Nine. Okay. You can play basketball. Great. Can you see the answers? Now you listen, and write a name or a number. One. What's your family name, please, Hugo? It's Ball. Is that B A L L? Yes, Ball. That's right. Two. Now, where do you live, Hugo? In Mouse Street. That's M O U S E. Mouse Street. That's a funny name. Yes, but I like it. I like animals. Me too. Three. What's the number of your house? It's nineteen. It's next to the school. Nineteen. Yes. Four. My friend wants to play basketball too. What's his name? It's Nick. N I C K. Nick. Okay. Five. And how old is your friend? He's ten. It's his birthday today. Ten. That's good. Happy birthday to him. Thank you. Can I go and play basketball now? Yes. Come with me, Hugo. Now listen to part two again. One. What's your family name, please, Hugo? It's Ball. Is that B A L L? Yes, Ball. That's right. Two. Now, where do you live, Hugo? In Mouse Street. That's M. O U S E, Mouse Street. That's a funny name. Yes, but I like it. I like animals. Me too. Three. What's the number of your house? It's nineteen. It's next to the school. Nineteen. Yes. Four. My friend wants to play basketball too. What's his name? It's Nick. N I C K. Nick. Okay. Five. And how old is your friend? He's ten. It's his birthday today. Ten, that's good. Happy birthday to him. Thank you. Can I go and play basketball now? Yes. 
with me, Hugo. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What does Sue want for lunch? Sue, I've got fish for lunch today. Do you want some? No, thanks, Dad. Can I have a burger, please? Okay. With peas and fries? With tomatoes and fries, please. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where are Mark's football boots? Mum, where are my football boots? I can't find them. Are they under your bed, Mark? No, and they're not in the kitchen. I know. They're in the hall next to the door. Two. What animals are the children learning about today? My children are at the zoo this afternoon. They're learning about animals. That's nice. Are they learning about monkeys? No. The teacher's telling them about crocodiles today. Really? My favorites are the elephants. Three. Which is Dan's bike? What a nice bike, Dan. Is it yours? No. That isn't mine. That bike's very small and I'm big now. So have you got a new bike? No. I've got my brother's dirty old bike, but it's great. I love riding it. Four. Who is in the photo? Is that Dad in that old photo, Mum? The young boy? Yes, it is. <laughs> He's with his sister. They're about seven. Who's that with them? That's your grandma. She's wearing a beautiful hat. Five. What has the dog got in its mouth? Oh, no. What's the dog playing with? It's orange. Oh no, has it got my ruler again? I don't know. Is it a crayon? No, look, it's eating a carrot. Well, that's good for it. Now listen to part three again. One. Where are Mark's football boots? Mum, where are my football boots? I can't find them. Are they under your bed, Mark? No, and they're not in the kitchen. I know. They're in the hall next to the door. Two. What animals are the children learning about today? My children are at the zoo this afternoon. They're learning about animals. That's nice. Are they learning about monkeys? No. The teacher's telling them about crocodiles today. Really? My favorites are the elephants. Three. Which is Dan's bike? What a nice bike, Dan. Is it yours? No, that isn't mine. That bike's very small and I'm big now. So have you got a new bike? No, I've got my brother's dirty old bike, but it's great. I love riding it. Four. 
four. Who is in the photo? Is that Dad in that old photo, Mum? The young boy? Yes, it is. <laughs> He's with his sister. They're about seven. Who's that with them? That's your grandma. She's wearing a beautiful hat. Five. What has the dog got in its mouth? Oh, no. What's the dog playing with? It's orange. Oh, no. Has it got my ruler again? I don't know. Is it a crayon? No. Look, it's eating a carrot. Well, that's good for it. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a funny living room. There are lots of ducks in it. Yes, there are. Can I colour one? There's a duck on the rug in front of the sofa. You can colour that one. What colour can I make the duck on the rug? Would you like to colour it green? Yes, that's nice. Can you see the green duck? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Can you see the duck on the bookcase? Yes. Good. You can colour that duck now. Can I make the duck on the bookcase purple? OK. That's a good colour for a duck. Two. Which duck can I colour now? The duck under the lamp. You can colour that one now. Can I choose the colour? Yes. What colour would you like? Yellow, please. OK. That's a good colour for the duck under the lamp. Three. Can you find the duck in the girl's arms? Oh, I see now. The girl in the dress is holding a duck. That's right. Colour that duck brown. OK, I'm colouring it now. Four. Can you do one duck red now? OK, that's a good colour for a duck. There's a duck on the TV. Do that one. The duck on the TV? I've got it. I'm doing it now. Five. Can I colour the duck on the table now, please? The one between the cakes? Yes, OK. I'd like to make that duck grey. Good. That's a great picture now. Thanks. Now listen to part four again. One. Can you see the duck on the bookcase? Yes. Good. You can colour that duck now. 
Can I make the duck on the bookcase purple? OK, that's a good colour for a duck. Two. Which duck can I colour now? The duck under the lamp. You can colour that one now. Can I choose the colour? Yes. What colour would you like? Yellow, please. OK. That's a good colour for the duck under the lamp. Three. Can you find the duck in the girl's arms? Oh, I see now. The girl in the dress is holding a duck. That's right. Colour that duck brown. OK, I'm colouring it now. Four. Can you do one duck red now? OK, that's a good colour for a duck. There's a duck on the TV. Do that one. The duck on the TV? I've got it. I'm doing it now. Five. Can I colour the duck on the table now, please? The one between the cakes? Yes, OK. I'd like to make that duck grey. Good. That's a great picture now. Thanks. That is the end of the Pre-A1 Starters Listening Test.